Welcome back to Two and a Half Gamers. This is This Week in Gaming. Fallout 4, set in Boston. I think yes. This uh, this game's been missing for a while, but we get a news from it, and I can't wait for this game to come out, Bethesda, they know what they're doing with their games. I just, uh, I hope, uh, it's a little different than the last two Skyrim games. I mean, I'm mean Skyrim. Fallout okay. games, um, Both good games. The, the reason why I said Skyrim is because uh, both Skyrim and Fallout have a lot of glitches. They do. And, and they the do. one thing that I hope they do is they take their time, that they work out all the bugs, and that they that it's a good game that doesn't that doesn't have bugs that breaks the game, kind of like the console version of Skyrim and Fallout. So I, I hope that they, they, they take their time this time. I mean, there's plenty of time, and they can save it for next gen if they want. They, they do have a lot of money, but right. they still deliver. I know, and it's still fun. They still deliver. And imagine how much better it would be if they took their time on the bugs and how much more legendary that game could be. I'm expecting next gen for sure. Um, it's going to be magnificent from what we've seen in Skyrim if they cross that over. I mean, Fallout 3 and New Vegas are amazing, don't get me wrong, but if they play that into the new Fallout, I mean, Jesus, what? I mean, Skyrim was a good looking game. I'm scared. <laughs> Skyrim was a good looking game. It is. And that's what I'm saying. To bring guns into that size of a world, I don't know, that's going to be amazing. So in Kinect News and Xbox News, the Kinect got a price drop. It went from 150 to 109 So that's good news for people who want, um, I guess, motion gaming. It's a, it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> and uh, killing people. Yeah. Um, let's all go get Kinects. Finally. I mean, I guess, but I mean, I, I like some software features on it. I mean, like the whole voice control thing. I like the fact that you can control your Xbox, like Xbox play Justin Bieber, like the infamous E3. Hey, um, everybody needs to play Justin Bieber. Oh, well, like, I, I guess. I mean, those are the only features that I would use it with the whole... There's people using it for other things and it works a lot better, like the filming thingies to do the particle effects and stuff. They've done pretty cool things with well, that. Well, that, those are hacks, technically. Yeah, they're, they're hacks, and that's what the Kinect should be doing instead of uh, Xbox, play Justin Bieber. Just saying. Just saying. So it's 109. Are you going to get one? Are you? Are you? Hey. Are you? Action. So, this has been Two and a Half Gamers. Thanks for watching. This week in gaming. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We also want you to see our other channel. What's Super Geek Stream. Stream. Super Geek Stream. It's good, you know? Very good. <laughs>